welcome back to my channel. It is January monthly favourites time again. Um, this month it's quite random, I haven't changed my makeup up, up at all, I haven't tried any new skincare, so uh, there's nothing really that would be different from last month's favourites. However, these little random things I have been loving, so I thought I would share them with you anyway. I quite like random favourites, I find them a bit more interesting than makeup ones. Um, purely because I'm nosy about everyone's day to day life, so I hope you enjoy it anyway. Obviously moving house means you're going through boxes and packing things up, and I have ab I've absolutely been loving opening boxes up and finding old things, like old childhood things. For example, I came home the other day and my mum had found this little book, and it's called My Adventure with Alice in Wonderland, and I don't know if you've seen these before, um, but basically you can have a story, like a fairy tale or a Disney story or something like that, um, written but with you in it, if that makes sense. Um, and this was given to me by my grandparents for, I don't think there's a year on it, 1995. So I was, is it my birthday? I don't know if it was my birthday. It was my birthday, it was my fifth birthday. If it wasn't, I was four. Um, but it says, this story was especially written for Carl Wood with love from Grandma and Grandad. And it's just so cute. It starts with, Carl and her friends are beginning to get very tired of sitting on the grassy bank. The hot day made them feel very sleepy. Suddenly, a white rabbit ran across to them and Carl heard the rabbit say to herself, Oh dear, oh dear, I shall be too late. <laughs> I just love this. And we found loads of um, my old childhood books the other day as well. It's just nice. It brings back loads of memories of when you were little. And that's always good fun. Next is something that I was given for Christmas and I have been living in them since I got them. It is my Hunter boots. They are the brightest pair of shoes I own. <laughs> um, but they have been perfect for the weather at the minute. Very wet and cold. And obviously orange is my favourite colour. And I also got some little Hunter socks, like welly socks, to go with them. And these are the softest and cosiest things. Ever. I never want to take them off when I wear them and obviously you know how they work this top bit like flips over the top of the welly boot but yes coziest shoes to wear and, and I've just I love them I recently stopped um, drinking anything on eating anything with caffeine in purely because I've been suffering from anxiety and by doing this I've, I've proved that caffeine was a big part of it so I've cut it out completely but that obviously means I've been drinking alternatives and I really really like hot drinks um, so I've been drinking I've been drinking peppermint tea um, chamomile tea and I've also got a lemon and ginger but I haven't really drunk much of this one I'm not a massive ginger fan but I thought I'd give it a go anyway but but yeah, I haven't drunk much of this one. I have been obsessed with peppermint tea. I absolutely love it. Not everyone likes it, but it's a kind of a taste that you grow on, I would think. Um, the first time I tried it, I didn't like it at all, and then I just kept having it and drinking it anyway. And now I absolutely love it, and I have it every day, a lot. If I, would, if I was gonna have a cup of tea, I now drink peppermint tea, and you all know how much I used to drink tea. Um, this is a Diplomat brand. I did originally have the Twinings peppermint tea. They were on offer for like a pound each, I think. Um, but obviously that ran out. And now I've been using this one. The smell of this one, it smells like polos, if that doesn't sound weird. But you open the cupboard that this is in and you, this is all you can smell. And I've been absolutely, I've been obsessed with chamomile tea and with honey before I go to bed. It's very calming. It's just, you're supposed to have chamomile tea before you sleep anyway. It's supposed to be really calming and soothing. And I have been having trouble sleeping, but this kind of has, it has helped. It helps me fall asleep faster. I don't know if my sleep is any better, but it's helped me fall asleep a lot faster. The first time I tried it, I didn't have it with honey and gonna be honest it tastes like potpourri it tastes like you're drinking perfume it's not the nicest smell at all but I was recommended to try it with honey and I love it it's so nice you can still kind of taste the like potpourri -ness in it but it's sweeter with the honey so it hides it but I really really like it and I find it really calming and soothing to have at night before I go to bed and then I have been having my peppermint and chamomile tea in this mug here which says bright eyed and bushy tailed and then the handle is a little tail and then inside, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, that is a little cat. It's so cute. I was given a next voucher for Christmas um, and 
Their clothes don't really fit me and don't really suit me. I'm not a massive fan of their clothes anyway, but their homeware I love. And so I popped in and saw this mug and couldn't resist and had to get it because it's just adorable. And I'm a little bit obsessed with mugs. I have my favourite mugs that I like to drink things from. Am I the only one that does that? Thumbs up this video if you have a favourite mug, okay? This one is currently mine. And then lastly is something that I've purchased. My dad basically, my dad gave me money for Christmas and so, and I've always wanted this. So I used the money to get it. It was in the sale, so that's okay, right? It makes it okay. <laughs> um, it is this fossil bag. I had seen it before, um, but couldn't really warrant paying how much it was just because, so I didn't, I was good, I didn't buy it. And then my dad gave me money and I saw it was in the sale and I had to buy it. I originally wanted the whole black one, but I don't think that one went in the sale. But I'm actually so glad I bought this one. It's like black on the top and on the bottom, like in the side here, and then it's like a plummy color. They call it raisin. The reason I love this bag is because there's so many pockets in it and I love things with pockets in, jumpers, trousers, bags, coats, anything that has a pocket in, I love it. Um, but there's so many in here, so you've got, this opens up and you've got a flap inside there and then there's a little bit here as well that you can use and a pocket inside and then you unzip the top and that's another compartment, I know right, you turn it around and there is another pocket at the back here, love it. When I first got this bag, it stayed in the dust bag for about mm, two weeks because I was so scared I was going to get it out and like scratch it and ruin it. But I did get it out and I just started to use it and it's all I've been using ever since I put everything in it and I love it. And it just has like a long strap like this. If you want me to do a what's in my bag video, I did do one about six months ago. Um, if you want me to do one with this bag, then leave me a comment down below and I will do that for you. And that's all my favourites for January. Uh, like I said, very, very random. <laughs> I hope you've all had a wonderful first month of 2015 and you're all sticking to your resolutions. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!